Hi everyone, today we are talking about leads and in particular converting leads. Now converting leads is a little bit of a controversial subject <laughs> around Salesforce only because it really depends on each business's process and how they run their sales pipeline. Now if you are using leads then chances are you're going to want to have a really specific definition of when you convert them because it's really important when it comes to things like forecasting, reporting, dashboards, all of that good stuff, having a really solid conversion process for your leads is so important. But here we're talking about it from an admin point of view. It's not so much deciding those business rules as much as implementing it. So what goes on when we convert leads? Well, the first thing to know is that leads are converted from a single lead to an account, a contact, and an opportunity. Now, why is this? Well, when a lead first comes into Salesforce, it could be a brand new person, it could be a brand new business, and it could be a brand new chance to make some money or to close a business deal. Now, because all of those three things are squished together in this one lead, when we've qualified that lead and we are understanding that this is someone or a business or an opportunity that we want to pursue, we would convert it. And when we convert it, it splits out into all three of those things. So a new account, which is a new business, a new contact, which is a new individual person, and then a new opportunity, which is a business deal. Now, creating the opportunity is totally optional. You don't have to do it. But more often than not, it's a pretty good idea to track your then progress with that said person or account. Now, prior to the conversion, the owner of the record can be selected from the required record owner field. So if you have a particular owner that deals with leads and then when you convert it, you might want to actually switch that owner to perhaps one of the more sales team or someone else in the business that's more suited to that stage of the sales pipeline. The important thing to know about that conversion is that once you have converted your lead, the lead is no more. That particular lead record does not exist. Instead, it exists as an account, a contact, and an opportunity if you choose to. Now, if you've enabled person accounts and you're not necessarily using accounts and contacts as separate objects, but person accounts, which is a combination of the two, if you are using person accounts and the lead has nothing in the company field, so the company field is blank, then when you convert that lead, a person account will be created instead of a separate account and contact. Now let's talk a bit about field mapping because you've been working hard on this lead, you've been collecting all this information, and then you go to convert it, and what happens to all that juicy data? Does it just disappear? Does it just go off into the cloud? No. Well, we have to make sure that it doesn't. <laughs> we have to make sure that it has somewhere to go. And we do this using field mapping. So field mapping is where we map literally the fields on the lead, and we map them to exact fields across the account, the contact, or the opportunity that we want that information to go into. And there's certain rules that we need to be aware of so that this is successful. The big one is that custom fields in a lead can only be mapped to custom fields and accounts, contacts, or opportunities. You can never map a custom field in a lead to a standard field anywhere else. If you did want to do that, then you'd have to use flow or workflow or some sort of automation tool um, just using the standard field mapping, you wouldn't be able to do that. Thankfully, there are actually some things that field mappings do do automatically for us, such as automatically generate the opportunity name from the lead using the company name. So your opportunity name is automatically going to be populated as the company name, and an account or contact is going to be created from the lead if there is no existing account or contact of the same name. Now what happens if you do have a lead and you go to convert it and it turns out that they already exist. They already are in the system, they're already an account, they're already a contact. It's no problem, you can actually add this new opportunity to existing records in Salesforce. So for example, let's say that you've met someone new and you go to convert them as a lead and that individual person doesn't exist in Salesforce but the company that they work for already does. Maybe you've talked to someone else from that company before. Well, we don't want to have that company twice. 
in Salesforce that would totally defeat the point. But we do want to add this new person into our database. So we would just select the existing account and add in our new contact to that one. We can do that all just by converting our lead. Converting leads is a really important part of the sales process and it's something that you're going to want to work very closely with your business team on if you're a Salesforce admin. So take some time to really get this straight, to map it out, and once you've got that, it's gonna be no problem at all.